you know, whenever you put a kick in, that we was taught to chase it because anything can happen. So the kickoff comes, run away in this final game of the final okay. round of the regular championship okay. season. A great drive into contact, and this is the last of the set. Hodgson gets to his feet, the ball is played, and it's away. Sheffield looking on the short side to Thackeray. Great hands, will this be the first try? Good work from Bradford, just denying Matty Jost, Dawson Jones. But Sheffield really laying a gauntlet down early. Takes Bradford to within five. Lily, Doro, drives. Doro's in. Is that ball down? Now the referee says he's held up. Terrific defence there. I'm not quite sure who it is underneath. I think it's Jesse Senny Lafay. Bradford looking to get the shape together. You can see a wave developing on the right hand side as Lily brings in Skur on the short pass. And Skur's still going. He's taking some getting down. And he takes Blair to well within reach of that Sheffield Eagles try line. Going on the right hand side again of Bradford Bulls. There's a little pass. There's the first try of the game. And it's Chris Wellham who strills through for Bradford Bulls. Sorry, not Chris Wellham. Joanne Rundle, sorry, for, for Bradford Bulls. Yeah, and it just comes off the back of a 15 minute period of, of dominance, really. If, I, if that's the word I'm going to look for, I think Bradford have just dictated how this game's been played. The last 15 minutes and it's Gaskell out the back to Holmes there and it's just a gorgeous soft little ball into the hands of that man Arundel who scores in front of the Bradford end. Well Chester Butler, let, when we see this on the highlights again, you know what Chester Butler does just outside of number 29, number 12, he just stops Corey Aston long enough that brings in Glover which gives Arundel a free run to the line. Oh, we're just, fantastic play. We're just seeing them pitches again there. And I don't think Glover's happy with this defensive effort. He almost just looks, he just gives up on that play. He's got to be a bit more committed than that. Will the Eagles hit back? It's Thackeray. Looks to support along the line. Finds Aston. This is looking good for Sheffield. And we're through with Quentin Lalu Tonga guy. And their pressure has finally paid off. Yeah, and we said they're almost magnetised to this left edge. You know, they've liked what they've seen out there. And they had a three-on-one overlap. It's the ball out by, it's Thackeray at first, and it comes to Corey Aston. Aston finds QLT, and then he saw, sums it up so well, the experienced player, and just put the ball down. As we watch it back now, it's the combination of Aston to QLT, and they just can't, they just can't shut him down. Very, very good player. Keeps the ball in two hands, shows the dummy, and gets through Blackmore with ease. Well, from a defensive point of view from Bradford there, if we see the pitches again, in their defensive line just look at the total disconnect from them all the bodies flying in and there's an acre of space out wide and they'll not score an easier try than that for sure Senny Lefeo's in there with the tackle this is the last of the set for the Bulls Jowett again short pass oh. and Bradford are through oh, it's another forward and pass and again yeah disallowed by the referee right on the spot seeing that one just as Bradford thought they'd gone in front through Chester Buck again taken safely by Sheffield Eagles but Bradford certainly peppering that corner yeah I think he heard Kyle Amor just say get down here and, and keep the territory and win this battle because this is exactly what they need to do oh, oh the loose pass is there a chance for Bradford oh shocker and Bradford have scored taken advantage of that mistake by the Sheffield Eagles and Bradford are in front again well it's a gift Sharon that's what it is it's a shocking piece of play from Sheffield. They're trying to go around them rather than go through them. And it's Thackeray, of all people, throwing that ball, trying to find LaRue. And in the end, it's just a simple score for the Bulls. And full credit to Liam Tyndall as well. He was, he just wanted it more than the opposition. Score right on the hooter. We said that they'd be delighted going in only two points behind. Well, it's going to be a minimum of two points in front that they're going in at the break with. Yeah, Liam Tyndall, the scorer, really, he wanted that ball. No one else was going to get there before him, and he made sure... Yeah, he won't dwell on that too much. He'll have a big second half, I'm sure, and players had a big first half. Fenton Rogers as well, a player we've not mentioned, who's come off the bench. As Ben oh, Jones great. Bishop, yeah, takes yeah. that well. Brilliant, brilliant player there. On from the bench. He's a player that can really add extra bite as well for Sheffield, but it's Bradford still moving forward with Rogers. Oh, strong run. From the Bradford substitute, taking play again, two within five. Short ball, Bradford going for the line. Great work again by oh, Sheffield again. Somehow that pass came out from Kevin Apo, and Bradford have scored. What a great 
away to start the second half from the Bulls. Yeah, it's just a brilliant intensity from the Bulls. It's Stein with Skur, hard carry. Then it's Fenton Rogers with another hard carry. And then guess what? Apple straight away, hard onto that ball, gets the offload away. And it's Lilly who benefits from it. It's just hard carries. Well, the bench have been terrific. Apple's one, Fenton Rogers another. And so is Ibn Skur. In the middle of the field, they've been causing all sorts of problems. And the offload with three people, someone's got to be, you know, done with the task of holding that ball there. It just pops it out from nowhere. That's a brilliant bit of play. And that's what you get from a great kicking game. Sakri will have to play the ball. And it's away towards the centre. And again, we go with a forward crashing through. Is this a try? The referee's right there. He's saying he's been held up. Held short. Terrific defence once again from the Bulls. So Douglas gets to his feet. The pass goes back to Thackeray. Attacking now on the short side again. Ben Jones Bishop does well to take that. And he manages to score from it as well. It looked for all the world like the Bradford defence was going to stop him from getting through. But Ben Jones Bishop... The fancy feet do the trick. Yeah, you just said it there, Sharon. The footwork, the balance of that man, Ben Jones Bishop. He's got an awful lot to do when he catches this ball. With his experience and his true class. Well, you just have to watch this. Just watch how he stands up there, steps hard and just finds the ball over the line. Great try there from Ben Jones Bishop. And boy, did they need that. And that just shows how crucial an error is. What we saw from Connor Wynn getting put in touch. The momentum's completely changed now. The complex of the game's completely changed. You know, they Taking play to within a couple of metres of the line. Will this be another chance of Bradford? Holmes looks to go himself. And again, we've got a collision. Yeah, I think we'll take the two here, yeah, won't Jordan Lilly straight away, hand in the air, signal to the bench, bring the cone on. A couple of terrific defensive efforts there from Guazier, but what about the run from Skur that sets up the field position? I think it's Doro that gets hit off the ball illegally. Yeah, Douglas far too interested in that. And it's a penalty, and it'll be a simple two points here, you'd feel, for Jordan Lilly. So Bradford intending to not come away from that Sheffield line without more points. And this potentially a chance gifted to them. How good's Evan Skirbin? He's been outstanding. Tonight. He's just like a pinball. He just bounces off things and keeps going. He just doesn't know when he's tackled. In fact, I thought he was going to tackle. He was going to get tackled there by Jordan Lilly. It's a strength. You look at him. And you don't expect what you get from Evan Sharon, Skirt. He's, he's one of those small, nuggety kind of players, and they're very, very difficult to handle. They've got that low centre of gravity, but what he has is that willingness and that competitive edge about him just to keep keep fighting, keep moving his legs, keep trying to get those extra yards and a refusal to be put down. And he's got footwork too, Annie, for a big man. He's almost even square. He's, uh, he's that short and stocky. The big square. But the, foot, the footwork he's got on the back of that makes him so difficult to put down. Well, Jordan Lilly tags on the two from the penalty. That's a six-point gap, a converted try, the difference now between these two sides. You know, pushing for this next try and trying to convert to level the scores. So Farrell at acting half. 20 metres out then from the Eagles. A high ball goes to Guaze. Keeping it moving. Thackeray out wide. He's got the support. This here. looks good for Sheffield Eagles. Going for the corner. And it's Matty Dawson-Jones who gets what could be an absolutely crucial try for Sheffield Eagles with the kick still to come. And they got what they deserved exactly again and Kyle mentioned it as he went into touch that he was bringing the heat on his team. And the play from Guaze to open up Thackeray and then Jack, uh, Jack Hansen who came up with the final pass. We watch it now, Guaze out the back to Thackeray. And then the man who's really caught my eye tonight, the ball skills. Terrific pass to Matty Dawson-Jones. Who all but levels the scores. You just see the centre and the winger here. They start back pedalling, and as soon as you do that, you're just inviting the half just to find that cutout ball. But this will be a mammoth effort from Jack Hansen, just in from the touchline, as the wind still swirls around the Olympic Legacy Park. This to level it. Oh, he's close. Just shot, though. Perhaps yeah, one more, maybe an early kick, but not that. Oh, straight to the feet of it's Michael Lawrence. It's going to be a penalty. Yeah. It's a penalty. Oh, it's a penalty the other way. So this kick from Sheffield to level things. Clearly 
carrying pressure, but it is in front of the posts. And Jack Hansen, the man with the responsibility for Sheffield Eagles in the last couple of minutes of this game. And almost a hush starting to fall on the stadium. Jack Hansen then. And we're all squared. The final minutes of the game and we are all squared. Sheffield 16, Bradford 16. Will Bradford get the four points or will it be a drop goal? The players are in space. Here goes Lily. Oh, Lily gets a vital drop goal for Bradford that puts them back ahead in this game in the dying seconds. They lead 17-16. Never mind a draw, Kyle. That doesn't suit Bradford. They want the win. They want to finish third. And that looks like what they're going to get. But we've seen all night the ball swirl around and come back. He drives forward. Can Sheffield pull something out of the bag and snatch a win? Or even a draw? Anthony Thackeray, I think, was looking for the drop goal. It wasn't to be. And it's Bradford's night at the Olympic Legacy Park.